not going to get out of here without being up here to face the music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an old guy as, as far as city politics is concerned. I haven't been in city office or, or in direct relationship or the chimney command with Steve Norwood. I was kind of a predecessor. I kind of moved the shadows a little bit. And I've tried to work my best at trying to help the city. Now, I was born in the West Texas town of El Paso and went to UT Austin, a UT Austin alumni, so even though I consider my home a Prescott for the last 30 years, and I'm never going anywhere else, I do understand kind of the mentality of where Steve's going in. Round up, yeah. round up, round rock, round rock, round, yeah. just north of Austin. So I'm, I'm kind of familiar with that. So we got some of these old timers and has-beens, and there's a bunch of you out there, you know who you are. We're still there with the Prescott's, but we're not, we're not trying to make headlines there. So we got together and we came up with the party gift for you. And I know that it's a Steve Norwood. Shelly, you know what this is. Now, I know when you go to Round Rock, your biggest concern is going to be what is going to be your next quality of life project, whether you're going to do the third aquatic center, you don't have to worry about an airport. Austin's close enough. You don't have to worry about a golf course. I don't even think they have a senior center, do they? Well, there's seven seniors there. Seven, seven seniors. Ninety-five <laughs> percent of the population is actively employed and paying sales sales tax, and you've got one major employer. So you're not going to have the same kind of problems that you had here in Prescott. Well, but you are going to have some issues, so we want to leave Steve with a little momentum when he's faced with such problems. Now, I realize that everybody in Texas has a ranchette. And a ranchette, sometimes you've got to go into the corral. And we know what's in the corral. When you have to walk through the corral, what are you walking through? Okay. <laughs> Now, we all know the kind of boots that Steve is wearing. We've all seen them. They're glossy, black, pointy-toed boots. You don't wear those in the crowd. So, what I would like is to present Steve as a reminder of Prescott, if and when the kind of problems that he may face in Roundup, Round Rock, excuse me, if he has to get into the, the corral and he has to go ankle deep, these are work boots. These are retans, and the name of these work boots are the Prescott. Anyway, these are the Prescott by the Ariat Boot Company, and the Ariat Boot Company makes boots, and the only ones they've named after towns have been towns in Arizona. They've got a Scottsdale, they've got a Flagstaff, they've got a Something else, I don't know. Scott, oh yeah, well they got a present. So, yeah. <laughs> you, and when you run into that problem, think about rolling up your, your, your pants and get on out in the crowd and going ankle deep with your crusty boots. Mm -hmm. We know a little bit about changes in public works. <laughs> so in that, that in mind, we thought that a change order would be appropriate for Steve Norwood. <laughs> Steve? Steve Norwood is the project. So, <laughs> change order number one. You're directed to proceed promptly with the following change, and that is to relocate to Round Rock, Texas. And there, and there are reasons for change orders, and I want you to know what some of them are. Unforeseen circumstances. You know, we, we really heard he got an offer he couldn't refuse. Differing site conditions. City Hall was either too hot or too cold. In career advancement, we, we heard a rumor that uh, he's going to work half as hard for twice the money. <laughs> and, then, and then there's the retention of his identity. You know, since he's been in Prescott, I think he's losing his Texas twang. I actually heard him in a conversation a while back say, the seventh month of the year, July. <laughs> and then there's the gourmet cuisine, you know, that, that, he, that he misses in Texas. I think they call it uh, armadillo roadkill stew. <laughs> and then there's the art and culture that he'll he'll experience.
experience, he'll be much closer in proximity to those Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. <laughs> but the real justification is, once a Texan, always a Texan. <laughs> so, it is uh, my privilege to present this to you on behalf of Public Works. It's been signed by uh, the acting city manager, Lori Hadley, myself, the city attorney, and Mayor Marlon Kirkendall. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know it's been a real good thing. <laughs> Haley and Nick, they, they put up with a lot, and 
I think they've enjoyed a lot of it too. But uh, you know, we fell in love with this community, and and I tell you, I'm uh, you know, there's always going to be a part of Prescott with me forever. And you know, there was a part of me that thought, who knows, I may end up staying in the same spot, you know, here forever. And until Shelley said, no, your ADD will kick in and you won't stay here forever. But uh, but I tell you, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, this has been a great spot, and uh, you know, Laurie Hadley is uh, is you know just has really been a huge part of my success, and I, I owe a lot to her. But I really appreciate Joel and all the work you've done here, and uh, you know, everybody put a lot of time and effort in. So, and some of those, Kim, about the Karnak, God bless you. <laughs> Woo, those were good. Uh, <laughs> whew, and thank God, because I remember he, I said, I hope you've talked to each one of them. <laughs> and they know exactly what you're going to be saying. So, I, uh, I spent the whole day preoccupied trying to get through this without saying, without uh, losing it. And I feel like I'm ahead of the game right now, so I'm going to wind it down and just say thank you. Uh, I just, it's been a I, I just can't, words can't describe the seven and a half years I've been here. Uh, and, you know, Round Rock is going to be, you know, a great opportunity for me. But I need eight more years in the Texas retirement system to be fully invested. So I'll be about 54, 55, and I'm coming back here and I'm running for council. <laughs> and I'm going to get you out all the crap that I was getting for seven and a half years. So I am going to enjoy that. So, so with that, uh, thank you, Kim, and I'll take my boots and and look forward. Ready for walking. There you go. Amen, brother. I just want to talk to you about this gathering tonight, past and present employees. Come on to you. How are you feeling? Oh, it's uh, uh, it's very special. Um, you know, to say that you know we fell in love with Prescott is an understatement. And uh, you know, but you know, there's certain things you got to do in your life and changes that that come up personal and and professional. But man, what a great uh, what a what a great night! And I spent all day today making sure that I wasn't going to lose it up there. And uh, uh, but no, very very special. I mean, Prescott is is tough to beat. Right. I understand you try to uh, keep uh, Lori in the loop with some major projects, is that right? Yeah, you know, Lori knows the operations better than I do. I mean, she's uh, very talented, very competent, uh, you know, knows the, the landscape both politically and operationally. And uh, I'll try to get her up to speed a little bit, but yeah, she's a pro. She'll do great. Right. And I was going to say, a little, just a bittersweet move here for you. Yeah, it is. You know, professionally, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, it's one of the premier cities in the country. It's one of the premier cities in Texas. Oh no, it is bittersweet. I mean, it because we we fell in love with Prescott. I mean, it's a it's a it's a great community. That's all my kids know. And uh, but you know, they're also looking forward to going back to Texas. And you know, I am too. You know, for our retirement purposes, it makes sense. But I mean, but I mean, Round Rock, like I said, it's just one of the great cities in the country. And uh, They've got a lot of things going on, and I'm looking forward to, to being a part of it. You can keep tabs on these guys while you're down there? Oh, every day. Every day. You know, from Prescott e News to the Daily Courier to... Oh, no, it is bittersweet. I mean, it... Because we, we fell in love with Prescott. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a great community. That's all my kids know. And, uh, but, you know, they're also looking forward to going back to Texas. And, you know, I am too, you know, for our retirement purposes, it makes sense. But, I mean, but, I mean, Round Rock, like I said, it's just one of the great cities in the country. And uh, they've got a lot of things going on. And I'm looking forward to, to being a part of it. You can keep tabs on these guys while you're down there? Oh, every day. Every day. You know, from Prescott e News to the Daily Courier to. Who does the chain that? You know, probably the parking garage. I mean, that. Uh, Not in height, I mean, overall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd be the parking garage, uh, but you know what? I think is I think we've assembled a very, very good. Uh,
department head level. I mean, I think we've got a culture at the city that generally wants to do great customer service. They want to please. They want to do a great job. And, and I think, you know, it takes some time to create that culture.